Welcome to Naresh I Technologies. This is Ram Chandar from NIT. In this video, I am going to be talking about how to assign a literal to variable. Literal, literal means a value. How to assign value to a variable? That is our topic. Mainly in Java, we have five types of assignment. One is with the help of a value directly, second one is with the help of another variable, third one is with the help of a method return type, fourth one is with the help of a expression and as well as fifth one is passing argument to a method parameters. So, these are a five types of assignment especially in Java language. Now, let me uh, talk about the first thing. Our concept is how to how to assign value to variable. You guys already knows what is a variable. Variable is a name for memory. Simply we can say variable is a named memory location. For example, here I have one memory, in that memory I have one value like 10. If you want to interact this memory, either we can go forward uh, with the help of memory identification number as well as with the help of parameter. Now, for example, the first two way. How to assign the value to variable? The first way means by directly. Now, observe guys, what is the meaning of by directly? Directly means we are assigning the value directly into the variable. For example, int a equal to 10. This 10 value I am placed into a variable like a. Nothing but internally one memory will be created that memory is pointed by what uh, this variable a. Now, observe here, whenever we writing like uh, one more variable, one more time a equal to 20, then what happen? This 10 will be replaced with uh, 20. So, this is the first way to assigning the value to a variable. And the second one, by another variable with the help of a uh, another variable. What is the meaning of uh, another variable? Very simple. First, uh, let me take one variable that is byte b equal to 10. After that, uh, I am placing that byte b variable into where a. Now, here like this byte b variable I am placing into a. Now, observe this statement here I am placing value directly into b. Here, I am placing value to a with the help of another variable. Then what happened? B contains one memory. In that memory, we are placing the one value like uh, JVM placing the value like what? 10. Now, if I am writing a equal to b, most of the people feels like a is also pointing to 10. No, a is not pointing to 10. A itself getting what here? New memory. In that new memory, b value will be placed. Never we writing like this, A is not communicating with the B's memory, A have its own memory, in that memory we have value like what here 10, this is second way of assignment. Now, what the third one? The third one is with the help of a expression. For example, let me take one variable char A equal to single code A. Now, one more variable that is what uh, char b equal to small b. So, this is what variable name, this is what uh, value, technically we can call as literal. Now, here I am writing int c equal to a plus b. In this time, whenever we, uh, we are writing like a plus b, a plus b nothing but I am adding 
two characters. Whenever we adding two characters, uh, we will get uh, one integer value. Care plus care always getting what? Uh, int value. Now single code A yeah, internally it will replace with uh, small a and uh, small a internally replace with single code a and uh, small b internal replace with what uh, single code b now again a will be replaced with uh, its ascii value or unicode value that is 97 and b unicode value is what here 98 after that 97 plus 98 uh, totally 105 105 placed into variable variable c that means c getting uh, one variable C getting one memory in that memory we have value like uh, 195. So, this is the third way of uh, assigning the value to variable. The first one is directly, second one is another variable, third one is what uh, expression. Now, fourth one. The fourth one is assign the value to a variable with the help of uh, method return type. So, here let me write int a equal to m1 method. So, what is the main intention of uh, equal operator to assigning something to a? Assigning something to a means something means what value? What type of value? Int value. But am I writing int value? No. I am using method calling. If you want to call any method, if you want to call any method, mainly we need to concentrate on two things. One is method name, another one is parameter. So, what is the meaning of parameter? Parameter is nothing but one more, one type of variable. Now, observe here. Now, I am writing m1 method here. See guys, observe. m1 method, whenever we calling this m1 method in the, in this initialization phase, this is called source, this is called destination place this is called a source place or initialization place or calling place calling place different terminology sometimes we are using source place sometimes we are using initialization phase sometimes we are calling calling place now here observe now i'm calling the method if i'm calling any method that method will be executed in java no method will be automatically executed. If you want to execute that method, we should be called. We means maybe programmer or Java software developer. Understand? Now, observe here M1 method. So, if you are calling any method in the initialization method, initialization place, that method must and should be carrying some information. Mainly, we have uh, two types of methods. One is a method which is carrying the information, a method which is not carrying the information. Technically, we can call as carrying the information, that method we can call as non-void method. Those methods we can call as what here? Non-void methods. A method which is not carrying the information, that methods we can call as what? Void methods. Now, observe guys, here, what is the meaning of a uh, wide and what is the meaning of non wide? For example, if you want to withdraw the money, then you are going to ATM machine and you after entering the pin number, after entering the card and pin and valid details, we are clicking on the withdrawal button. Now, once we clicking on the withdrawal button, ATM asking us to uh, how much money do you want to transact? For example, I am entering like uh, 5000 rupees. Now, what is the meaning of this one? Programmer is interact with the ATM machine with the help of the concept like what? Withdrawal method. Once we clicking on withdrawal method, what ATM machine will doing? It will giving the amount. How much amount? 5000 rupees. So, with the help of withdrawal method, programmer can communicating with the ATM machine. Once we clicking on the withdrawal button, definitely we will get what here? money. Now, here withdrawal method giving some information to the end user, that method we can call as a non-wide method. Now, for example, I am just checking a balance inquiry. So, balance inquiry, just I am not getting any money. 
for example deposit simply we can say deposit so we are giving the money to the ATM machine but we are not getting anything from the ATM machine we are we are giving means we are not getting anything from the ATM machine those type of methods we can called as what uh, wide methods non void method means any information either byte short into long float double and char boolean array class memory and uh, interface reference uh, and uh, enum reference uh, we, we can take any value not a problem now observe now come to the our main concept now here if you are calling any method in the initialization place that method must and should be non void method nothing but this method carrying some information what type of information it is going to be carrying int how can i decide it how can we decide it whether this m1 method carrying the int only the reason is my destination variable type is int type now observe if i am writing like here string so m1 method is method returns uh, uh, content like ram then what happen m1 will be replaced with what uh, ram now we are unable to assign the ram into int the reason is ram and int type data are what are incompatible types then what should we do we need to write appropriate return type this is comes under return type this is what method name yes now i am calling this m1 method so m1 method will be executed and if you are writing any logic that logic will be executed happily after that finally i am writing one return statement uh, return 1 2 3 now what is the use of the return statement return statement is carry the control as well as what uh, carry the information carry the control means forwarding the control from called area to calling area now in this uh, line i'm calling the m1 method i'm calling so this comes under what you are calling so from where it was called here so this method we can called as called method so here called area or called method whatever it may be now return statement is going to be carrying the information from called area to nothing but from this place to calling area so where is the calling area this one is the calling area now this m1 method calling statement replaced with what 23 123 123 will be replaced after that 123 will be placed into where your variable a now this is fourth way to assigning the value to where your variable what is this assigning the value to variable with the help of method return type and here the main important points are we need to concentrate on method return type and return value my method return type is what int my return value is what 1 2 3 both are compatible for example here i am returning int value can i able to write a string here no those are not incompatible so definitely we need to concentrate on method return type as well as uh, return value and one more time we need to concentrate on what uh, destination variable type as well as what uh, method return type these two must and should be compatible and these two must and should be compatible this is fourth way to assign the value to variable now the last one is assign the value to variable as a argument or parameter to a method now observe let me give a small clarity between terminology like parameter as well as what argument now here i have one method like a public void one method like what here m1 method this is what a normal method syntax now this is comes under access modifier this is comes under what uh, one uh, keyword nothing but let me write uh, return type and uh, next one is what here mn nothing but method name now here if you are declare any variable basically this place we can called as uh, parameter place or argument place parameter place or argument uh, place 
Now, if you declare any variable in the parameter place, declaring, just I am writing int x. So, this x is comes under what here? Uh, parameter. Now, I already discussed, if you want to call the method, first we need to concentrate, at least we need to concentrate on two things. One is method name, another one is what? Uh, parameter. Now, I want to call the M1 method right now. So, if you want to call the M1 method, first we need to write what? M1. After that, what should we do? We need to send the data. We need to send the data from here to here. How? 1, 2, 3. Here, 1, 2, 3. Now, this 1, 2, 3 is placed into variable, variable x. Now, in the parameter place, if you are writing any value, that value we can call as what? Uh, argument. A small difference between parameter and argument. If you are declaring variable in the parameter place, that is comes under parameter. If you are using the value, that is comes under what? Uh, argument. Now, this 1, 2, 3 will be placed into variable, variable x. So, if you are trying to print variable x, a system dot out dot print a line, x value, if you are trying to print, uh, definitely we will get the output like what? Uh, x equal to 1, 2, 3. These are the fifth way to assign the value to variable. The first one is directly, second one is with the help of uh, another variable, third one is with the help of uh, expression, fourth one is with the help of method return type and fifth one is this one passing the value as a argument to a method or as a parameter to a method. These are the five important ways to assign the value to what variable. I hope you enjoyed this video. In remaining concepts, the very important concepts related to core Java, we will see in coming classes or videos. Thank you.